What's up, everybody? This is Norm Cam coming at you. My name is Kristen. This is Uncle Dwayne. And Andy Carmen. I'm Andrew. I'm Gabe. This is Kamish David. This is Nabil. And you are watching. You're watching. And you're watching. Inside the Rosita League. Let's go! Woo! It should be no surprise that I chose the name Arsenio Bowl for the Rosita League's championship game because Papang uh, was always Inung's champion, and he was our he was our champion as well. He opened his heart his heart to all. He supported our dreams, made us know that whoever we are, whatever our skills are, God can and will maximize our potential in life. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. Here we go. At what point did you realize that you were going to win? After the 10 o'clock games, it was pretty much over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so many games at 10 o'clock this last week, so. So have you decided what you're going to do with the 450 bucks? I think we're going to get a MetaQuest 3, the VR system. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's really cool. Should be fun. One of the secret sauces to your championship was not drafting Tyler Lockett. What's your, <laughs> what's your take on that? You got JSN. Yeah, yeah. you never started. He was on my bench all year. He's on my, good luck charm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably going to draft Lockett in round two of next year. So if you really want, no, I'm just joking. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm happy for you all. You know, this is second time to charm. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the uh, second highest uh, score in a uh, championship round. Yes, 211 points. And, yeah, the, uh, other, the other one was when uh, Tandy beat us with like 238. That was crazy. And yeah, it, it was almost no contest then. And so it's almost poetic justice that you were able to get a big score this time. Yeah. So, Keep it on the west side. Yeah. So obviously... 2023 was one of your the biggest years of your life, even without this trophy here but it was. um but your name is on a, a championship regardless of a trophy or not and so i'm happy for you all your entire family and um i think you're gonna be uh contenders for several years i think so too I'm feeling good we're on an upward stream kind of gotta burn it until milo can play there take you go <laughs> actually it won't take too long uh, i mean if seven seven years old is the the minimum age so All that's right. not too not too far from now. Okay, four more years, kiddo. <laughs> so where are you going to place the trophy? Have you decided well, on that? I haven't decided, decided yet. that yet. Um, probably on one of these shelves in here, although it's um, with a two-year-old who can climb, it's tough to put anything on a shelf that oh, yeah. he's not going to get to. So we'll, we'll need to do some um, strategic replanning replanning of our yeah. shelves here but better plan for it to be there for a few years possibly yeah we're gonna you gotta it. add you gotta add the belt next year have the belt and the trophy oh yeah unify the those championships huh? <laughs> yeah, so, but, sure. but obviously this one's a little sweeter so yes yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy okay well congratulations okay. again and thank you yeah we'll look out look out for this video very soon cool thank Woo! you <laughs> Wow, very cool, very cool. Congratulations, Mark and Sarah. Very happy for you. Um, huge win. One for the books, for sure. And what was an epic year for them. Yeah, love to see it. Let's jump over to what happened in Uncle Ray's Chowder Bowl 23. DC Universe versus The Grind, and The Grind pulled it off. Yeah, 134 to 93. In a yeah. very resounding fashion. Mm -hmm. No surprise there. The grind was definitely one of the stronger teams all year. Yep. Uh, 2024, they'll be able to pick their draft position number. And it should be interesting to see 
where they choose to be in round one because we know that for Nabil, he kind of went a little bit lower in the first round. And, of course, he was able to get Travis Kelsey. Whether or not that worked out for him, that's a, uh, that's a whole other conversation right there. Y'all going to give me Kelsey at 10? I'm not saying no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Kristen had Travis Kelsey. <laughs> oh, Just... there you go. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, we'll yeah, see. We'll see. Would you have any thoughts on how you might choose that you want to share? Uh, I'm probably going to plead the fifth on that because I do have some ideas on where I would want to go. Um, I will For say sure. that it's not number one overall, but mm-hmm. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't even want to give my opponents any kind of. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll play the. Uh, the poker game here and just kind of leave it at that. Got to respect that. Yep. You're going to, you're going to be uh, no longer commissioner. You'll have a few, you know, a little more free time. And uh, in some ways I feel like that title has already left me at this point, other than doing this video, which I think is probably my final, final commish act. And we're right. in this commish jacket, which I'll always keep, I think. Yeah. But uh, that's about it though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Cool. How about you? How about you? Where would well now I don't want to say anything. Okay. All right. But definitely not one. I can agree on one. Cause I feel like if you get two, the top two are pretty much ones, you know. So yeah. might as well. I I will say, I mean, I think that being number one overall is almost a disadvantage because you really have to pick the number one pick just right. And if you miss on that then your next pick, to, especially in a 14-team league, that's 27 picks later. Right. And uh, it's too much of a risk, I think. I think it's worth the risk to, well, I'm, I, again. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I I'll mean, last again. year it was uh, Justin Jefferson, and then um, obviously you risk uh, an injury. Um, so so Justin things. Jefferson was um, Omar and Jake, right? Yeah. And you saw where that led. Mm -hmm. (laughs) hey they won the banyo bowl they won a game that counts the banyo bowl yes Mm -hmm. that was another big matchup Mm. this week um middle child looking to break their losing streak and uh they were close six points from a tie but yeah couldn't get done were you gonna say congratulations (laughs) (laughs) congratulations i don't know if it's one ply or two ply this year but congratulations (laughs) it's about as impressive of a losing streak as i've ever seen um 15 losses in a row and counting and counting that's gotta be a record though right i mean we'll see i mean this could go on i mean that's that's one of the ongoing stories that's going to lead into the 24 season so that's uh worst season in league history one and 16 uh worst Mm -hmm. regular season in league history at one and 13 breaking records all around and and you never know i mean this could be a team that contends for the arsenio bowl in future seasons but right now it's kind of swirling down the drain yeah so to speak yeah um yeah you know everyone's got to start somewhere it's a new duo i bet there was a lot of you know head to head john noah they're working out like you know um who gets to start who those things take time, maybe a couple seasons before they find their uh, their rhythm. Right, right. Oh, it's it is worth mentioning that Jake was awarded the 2023 Soul Rookie Owner Appreciation Award for being the only rookie of the season, and so it's not a good award, it's not a bad award. It is what it is. He's the one and only rookie of the season. One so. and only rookie. Yeah, you are appreciated. Jake. You are a rookie. Don't listen to him, Jake. You're pretty much rookie of the year. Congrats. <laughs> I don't even know what I don't even know what this means, Dad. Now, the top winners. Starting with well, let's also mention that fourth place overall was Chuck and CJ, who also won uh East Division uh championship a few weeks ago. So that's definitely worth mentioning. Uh their match with Andrew, which was the matchup of the division champs, which is pretty cool for third place. Congratulations to Seattle Felix for getting another 100 bucks to move up to 225 
dollars overall for winnings. And so even though he's third place, he had the second most cash winnings. Oh, wow. Good for him. You love to see it. Good season from Andrew. Great season out of uh, Chuck and CJ, too. I think they both had uh, big years and uh, lots to show for it. And number two overall, even though he lost the Arsenio Bowl, still considered elite and uh, something to be celebrated uh, for all time. Second place overall, Mike, overachievers. So, uh, and that is $180 uh, for the cash winnings uh, for me in second place. So congratulations, Mike. Congrats. I, uh, I've been getting proposed some crazy trades out there too. I will enter. I can't get rid of Saquon Barkley. Sorry. And of course, Mark and Sarah, T. Mara, Arsenio Bowl 8, Champs, $450. They get the trophy, but they lost the belt. Also, uh, they were awarded a Commissioner's Outlier Award, number 10 overall, for scoring 211 points in this particular match. So congratulations to them. This is only the fifth time in league history for a team to surpass 200 points. So Pretty it's impressive. rare air. Yeah. In the Arsenio Bowl of all games. Yes. too. The last one to do that was Tanny. Uh, who did that in uh, Arsenio Bowl 4 against Mark and Sarah of all teams. Oh, wow. They came back with a vengeance. <laughs> so how would you rank this season, James, compared to all the other seasons we've had up to this point? Right. I'd say it's one of the more fun seasons we've had in terms of like other people being into it, like uh, texting and, you know, during games and stuff. Doing the videos has been a lot of fun. Um, yeah. it's So in that respect, one of the best seasons yet. Uh, you were um, one of the secret sauces to, um, you know, why there was all the great hype here. I, I think the commissioner's office, it's about as best as it it got at this point. I think it could be surpassed, of course, but this was kind of the final go around for you and me to team up. Yeah, we were peaking this season in the commissioner's office. It was yeah. a good one. And yeah. there'll be other spikes and peaks uh, later on, too. So, yeah. Yes, it is time for me to hang up uh, the uh, commissioner's role here. So yeah. I'll always have this jacket as a souvenir, but it is time to move on for uh for me, I guess. But yep. Yeah, Looking thanks forward for all to... you've done, Cuz. Yeah, hey, right on. It's going to it's continue and it's going to be still one of the best leagues, if not the best league I've ever been a part of in terms of fantasy. So um, a yeah. lot to look forward to. And so kudos to you, James, for being the new commission and also to Mark. Not only is he a co-champion, but he's going to be an assistant commish. So this is going to be a huge transition in a good way ahead. Yeah, I think it'll be a good one. Yeah, excited to work with Mark. So that wraps up the 2023 season, and the road to our Senior Bowl 9 has silently begun. It has. I think the cool part about our league is that it really is a mirror of our ACOP family or the extended family. And the cool thing about our extended family is that we are all co-owners of the same family. So family is what it's all about. It's always uh, the number one draw to this hangout. So I'm, I'm just grateful for each and every one of you and being able to call you family. So thank you. Thank you. Well said. Thank you. Thanks, David. It should be no surprise that I named this league after our family matriarch, Enung, a strong woman, an example of faith, a powerful Filipina American story. Her name is Rosita, Rose, a symbol for all of us of our victories and lessons of the past our dreams of the present, and the promise of new beginnings. So to Ina and Rosita, here's to you forever in full bloom.